At the end of the topic, you will be able to divide polynomials using Homer's method of synthetic division. Synthetic division is a shortcut method used for polynomial division. This method can be used only when the divisor is a linear factor. This method can be used in the place of standard long division algorithm. This method provides a simple way of finding the quotient and remainder by using the coefficients and of the polynomials by removing the variables and exponents. This method allows us to add throughout the process instead of subtraction as we do in the traditional long division method. Let us now see how to use the Horner's method. Consider the polynomial f of x equal to 3x square plus 4x cube plus x to the power 4 minus 4 minus 4x. Let us factorize this polynomial. f of 1 equal to 3 plus 4 plus 1 minus 4 minus 4 equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. To find the other factors, we make use of Horner's method. Arrange the given polynomial in descending powers of x. Write down the coefficients of descending powers of x as the first horizontal line of numbers, that is, the coefficient of missing power of x, if any, should be taken as 0. Draw the horizontal and vertical lines as shown. Find the 0 of the divisor. Here the 0 of x minus 1 is 1. Write this number to the left of the vertical line as shown. This number becomes the multiplier. To form the second horizontal line, enter 0 below the first number and add. Here, the result is 1. Write this 1 as the first entry of the third row. Now, multiply this 1 with the multiplier and enter the result under the second number 4. Thus, the second entry in the second row is 1. Add 4 and 1 and enter the result as the second entry in the third row. Thus, the second entry in the third row is 5. Now, multiply this 5 with the multiplier and enter the product under 3. Thus, the third entry of the second row is 5. Add 3 and 5 and enter the result as the third entry of the third row. Thus, third entry of third row is 8. Now, multiply 8 with the multiplier and enter the product below, that is, minus 4. Add minus 4 and 8 to get the fourth entry of the third row as 4. Repeat the same procedure to get 0 as the fifth entry of the third row. The last entry of the third row stands for the remainder, while the first four figures stands for the coefficients of descending powers of x of the quotient. Thus, the quotient is x cubed plus 5x square plus 8x plus 4 and the remainder is 0. Thus, f of x equal to x minus 1 into x cubed plus 5x square plus 8x plus 4. Now, let g of x 
equal to x cube plus 5x square plus 8x plus 4. Then g of minus 1 equal to 0. Thus, x plus 1 is a factor of g of x and so a factor of f of x. The 0 of x plus 1 is minus 1. So, to divide g of x by x plus 1 and the multiplier is minus 1. Now, apply synthetic division to divide g of x by x plus 1. Thus, the quotient is x square plus 4x plus 4 and the remainder is 0. f of x equal to x minus 1 into g of x equal to x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 2 the whole square. The same polynomial can be factorized briefly as follows. For f of x is equal to x to the power 4 plus 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x minus 4. f of 1 equal to 0. And f of minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 1 and x plus 1 are factors of f of x. First, we divide f of x by x minus 1 and then by x plus 1 using synthetic division as follows. To divide f of x by x minus 1, the multiplier is 1. To divide f of x by x plus 1, the multiplier is minus 1. Here is an example that applies the Horner's method of synthetic division. Find the quotient and the remainder when x cubed plus 2x square minus x minus 4 is divided by x plus 2. Click on the solution button to view the solution. Let us solve the next example. Find the quotient and remainder when 2x cubed minus 11x square plus 17x minus 8 is divided by x minus 2. Click on the solution button to view the solution. Here is another example. Solve x cubed minus 4x square plus 5x minus 2. Click on the solution button to view the solution. Find the quotient and remainder using synthetic division. x cubed plus 8 divided by x plus 2. Click the solution button to view the solution. In this topic you have learnt, division of polynomials can be done in a much easier way using synthetic division. At the end of the topic, you will be able to define HCF, find HCF of two or more expressions, define LCM, find LCM of two or more expressions, recognize the relationship between the LCM and HCF. HCF, highest common factor of two polynomials. 
A polynomial d of x is said to be HCF of f of x and g of x if d of x is a common divisor of f of x and g of x. Degree of d of x is the highest among all the common factors of f of x and g of x. HCF is also called GCD, greatest common divisor. Step 1. Factorize the given polynomials f of x and g of x completely. For example, let us consider f of x is equal to 6 into 2x square minus 3x minus 2 and g of x is equal to 8 into 4x square plus 4x plus 1. Factorize f of x and g of x. Step 2. Find the HCF for the numerical factors of f of x and g of x. Step 3. Find the common factors other than the numerical factors of f of x and g of x. Step 4. Find the product of all the factors. Step 5. The product is the HCF of f of x and g of x. Here is an example. Find the HCF of 24 into 6x power 4 minus x cube minus 2x square and 20 into 2x power 6 plus 3x power 5 plus x power 4. Click the solution button to view the solution. Let u of x and v of x be two polynomials such that v of x is not equal to 0 and degree of u is greater than the degree of v. Suppose all the coefficients are equal or rational, then there exists a quotient polynomial q of x and a remainder polynomial r of x such that u of x is equal to v of x q of x plus r of x and degree of r is lesser than degree of v. If the remainder r of x is non-zero, divide q of x by r of x, then v of x is equal to r of x q of x plus r1 of x. R1 is the remainder so that degree R of x is greater than degree R1 of x. If the remainder R1 of x is 0, then R of x is required GCD. If R1 of x is non zero, then continue the process until we get 0 as remainder. Let us learn how to find the HCF using the division logarithm through an example. Determine the HCF of a power 4 plus 3a cube plus 2a square plus 3a plus 1 and a cube plus 4a square plus 4a plus 1 using the division method. Solution Step 1 The given two expressions are arranged in the descending order of the powers of the variable a. Step 2 Choose the higher order polynomial among the two and write it in the dependent place. Step 3 Write the other polynomial in the divisor place. Step 4 Using the method of long division, divide until the degree of the dividend is less than the degree of the divisor. Step 5. Write the remainder in the divisor place and the divisor in the dividend place. Step 6. Apply step 4 and step 5 repeatedly until the remainder is 0. Step 7. Polynomial in the quotient place is the HCF. Therefore, a square plus 3a plus 1 is the HCF of the two expressions. LCM. Least common multiple of two polynomials. If m of x is said to be the LCM of f of x and g of x, then m of x is the common multiple of f of x and g of x. Among all the common multiples, degree of m of x is the least. Let's now learn how to find LCM using factorization method. Find the LCM of the x cube plus y cube, x cube minus y cube, x power 4 plus x square into y square plus y power 4. Step 1. Factorize the polynomials using formulae. Step 2. Choose the common factors. Step 3. Write all the factors of all the given expressions, but write the common factors once. Step 4. LCM is the product of such factors. Let us see an example of finding the LCM of the expressions 2x square minus 18y square, 5x square into y plus 15x into y square and x cube plus 27y cube. Click the solution button to view the solution. Let us now look at two examples on LCM. Find the LCM of the given expressions. Click on the respective solution button to view the solution. Relation between LCM and GCD. The product of HCF and LCM of two polynomials is the equal to the product of the two polynomials. For the two polynomials p of x, q of x, the relation is given as p of x into q of x equal to hcf of p of x and q of x plus lcm of p of x and q of x. Find the lcm of the polynomials 2x cube minus 3x square minus 9x plus 5 and 2x power 4 minus x cube minus 10x square minus 11x plus 8 whose gcd is 2x minus 1. 
Click the solution button to view the solution. In this topic, you have learnt the highest common divisor is the greatest expression that divides all the given algebraic expression. The lowest common multiple of two or more polynomials is the polynomial with lowest degree which is divisible by each of the polynomials. The product of HCF and LCM of two polynomials f of x and g of x is the equal to the product of the two polynomials. At the end of the topic, you will be able to recognize the rational expression, reduce the rational expression to the lowest form, find the product and quotient of rational expression, find the sum and difference of rational expression. A rational expression is the quotient f of x divided by g of x and g of x not equal to 0 for the two polynomials f of x and g of x. Rational expressions in lowest form. A rational expression has been reduced to lowest terms if all the common factors from the numerator and denominator have been cancelled. Look at the example 1. 22 by 8 is simplified as 11 by 4 by cancelling the common factor 2. The same method is followed to simplify rational expressions also. Look at the example 2. First step we have to factorize the expressions in the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is factorized as 2x minus 1 into 3x minus 1. The denominator is factorized into 3x plus 5 into 3x minus 1. Step 2. Now cancel the common factor 3x minus 1. Step 3. The resulting rational expression 2x minus 1 divided by 3x plus 5 is the lowest form of the given rational expression. Here is an example to reduce to its lowest form. Simplify the following rational expression. x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x square minus 9x plus 14 divided by x minus 7 into x square minus 3x plus 2. Click the solution button to view the solution. Multiplication of rational expressions. To multiply two rational expressions, step 1, factorize them. Step 2, then multiply their numerators and denominators. Step 3, crossing out the common factors in the numerator and the denominator. Example, multiply the given rational expression x square plus 6x plus 9 divided by x square minus 9 into 3x minus 9 divided by x square plus 2x minus 3. Click the solution button to view the solution. Division of rational expression. To divide by rational expressions, multiply by its reciprocal. Look at an example. Perform the operation x plus 4 by 2x minus 6 divided by 3x plus 12 by 4x minus 12. Click the solution button to view the solution. Addition and subtraction of rational expressions. We can write the sum and difference of the rational expressions as given below. p of x by q of x plus or minus r of x by s of x is equal to p of x into s of x plus or minus q of x into r of x divided by q of x into s of x where q of x and s of x are not equal to zero. In this example, we can see the subtraction of rational expressions with the same denominator. Simplify the following 4x minus 1 divided by x plus 4 minus 2x minus 9 divided by x plus 4. Click the solution button to view the solution. In this example, we can see the addition of rational expression with different denominators. Simplify 5x minus 1 divided by x square minus 3x plus 2 plus 3 divided by 2x minus 4. Click the solution button to view the solution. In this topic, you have learnt about a rational expression is the quotient f of x divided by g of x, where g of x not equal to 0 for the two polynomials f of x and g of x. A rational expression can be reduced to its lowest form. Operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division can be performed on rational numbers.